Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read the problem, try it out, then we'll solve it together. Okay, so they give us a function, f of x, and they give us this interesting looking function where the amplitude or the number multiplying by sine is an interesting exponential function, and then we have a sine function here multiplied. And it's the damped sound wave function. So it's a sine function where sound is damped, right? So it's kind of like, uh, let's draw this out. Give me for the sloppy drawing here. Uh, so sine uh, starts at zero usually, right? So here we're, we're starting at zero and some kind of function like this. As it goes on, the sound wave dampens. And right, the amplitude itself represents uh, a decaying function, two to the negative x, right? Two, in this case, negative 0.25x. So this is a really sloppy drawing of dampening, it's a harmonic function, I think, right? Dampening sound. Okay, so it's a really cool function. And I think that's how you spell dampening. Maybe it's two ends here. That doesn't look right. Um, I'll just say damped sound function. In other words, the sound is damped. It is decreasing over time. And we can measure how loud it is over time by looking at the amplitude. Uh, you don't need to know that though, right? If we're just if we're looking at what are we looking at? The average rate of change from an interval of negative seven to positive seven. So they're actually going back here, right? To negative seven. I don't know where that would be in the graph. And they're saying, well, there's at negative seven. Let's say it's at, let's say it's here. I don't know. And the output is there. And then positive seven would be here. And it would be down there. You'd be looking at the slope of this line. And I don't know if it goes in that order. I don't know if it's going to go up. I have to look at the function itself. But uh, that's essentially what we're doing. We're finding the slope of this line. All right. What's maybe the fastest way to do this? Well, you could take negative 7, plug in the function, and get an output. That would be this point right here. Then you plug in 7 to uh, this function again, and get an output, and get this point here. And then you do your slope formula. Uh, but I think a faster way of dealing with this on the, is on the calculator. For many of these problems, what I find the easiest is to hit y equals, clear off any old function, enter the function they're giving me. So I'm going to put 2 to the power of negative 0.25x. And then sine, it's pi over 2, so this is in radians. So second pi divided by 2x close parentheses. And before I hit anything over here, I'm going to hit mode and make sure I'm in radians. Okay, I am. Now, if I hit the graph button, I'm going to start to get a picture of my sine function, but I don't really need that. So I'm going to hit on, pause that. All right, or end that, I should say. And then if I hit second graph, I can see the table of the function, and this is what I really want. They want to know what's happening from negative 7 to positive 7. So if we go to negative 7, here's my input, there's my output. So that's useful to me because I'm going from negative 7, which I'll uh, write right here, negative 7, and the output was something like 3.3636. And then I'm going over to positive 7. Let's see what the output is. It's positive 7. And if you had to scroll down really far on the table, you don't have to scroll up and down. You can go to second table set and start at any value you want to. Boom, so I'll start at 7. And I go to my table by hitting second graph, and I'm starting at that value. So the second value here, this point I ended up drawing correctly, which is 7, negative 0.2973. So now we just find the slope between them. How do we do that? Uh, you, you could do 3.3636. Right, that's our first output, minus our second output. Oops, 3.3. 3636 three, six, minus negative 0 0.2973 over negative 7 minus 7, uh, which is negative 14. And if we divide these two in the calculator, let's see what we get. Now, just a quick thing here please don't just enter 3.3636 three, six minus negative point two nine seven three and then just divide by negative 14 you've got to put this whole thing in parentheses otherwise it'll throw your calculation off so instead of entering in parentheses i just hit enter and then i divide by negative 14 and what do i get about negative point two six one so that's choice three all right i hope that helped